So, a PC demo has released for KO the Kangaroo on Steam for Steam Fest. Now, I played it, and I have some thoughts. Let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here, and back with another KO video. As a part of Steam Fest, Tate Multimedia has released a demo of the comeback of the super niche platformer KO the Kangaroo. That has lied dormant for a long time. Now, I will say, what you are seeing is an early build. The game is still in development and releases in summer of 2022. So some of the issues I'm going to mention is likely due to it not being done yet. But I am going to call it the issues that I found just in case they're not. First up, the good. The game opens up with Kao entering a forest and immediately falling on his face. From that point, he has to run through the entire forest to find runes and learn about his newfound gloves. First off, the game controls very much like Jack and Daxter. That's the very first thing that came to mind. The double jump, edge gripping, rolling, and punching feels very much like Jack and Daxter Precursor Legacy. The jump and tailspin and the ground pound, again, does seem like it takes a chapter out of the Jack and Daxter book, but it feels very, very different. There is also some unique platforming sections, where KO has to activate certain crystals to be able to see the invisible platforms that exist in a different plane of existence. It's a nice touch overall. However, while the overworld movement feels like Jack and Daxter, the world almost feels like Twin Sanity or Legend of Spyro with the level design, with 3D open areas and trails that lead to other areas with secrets and overlapping level design. The feeling of this game is a total throwback to the platformers that came out during the PlayStation 2 era. There's even some classic aspects of collectibles, like coins, crystals, and a classic favorite, letters to spell the name of the character, very similar to Donkey Kong Country. And with KO's name only being three letters, well, it feels appropriate. And finally, the aesthetic of the game is a chapter right out of Spyro Reignited Trilogy, with those soft pastel colors with lovely gradients. The game is very, very aesthetically pleasing and runs smoothly on my PC on ultra settings. The character design is really fun and unique, with KO standing out as being super adorable. The demo really does feel like a classic love letter to games that came out back in the early 2000s, and if you told me that this was a remaster of a game that came out during that era, I would have believed you. But the best part about this game so far, which thank goodness is the best part, is the combat. The combat feels heavy, strong, and impactful. KO feels like he is unstoppable as he fights off groups of enemies. When combat begins, KO can dash to enemies and slobber knock some sense into them. As he is fighting, he builds up this meter. I'm gonna call it the knockout meter. When you fight for a certain amount of time and the bar fills, you can activate a finisher, which triggers a slow-mo moment and then a big AOE ground smash that knocks out enemies. There is also boomerangs that can be grabbed and thrown, but uh, we'll talk about that later. So far, the game feels like it's on its way to being a great classic fun time but I do have some critiques and thoughts on changes. First off, the game does need some polish. There's clipping, twitchy moments, T-posing, weird camera angles, all things that need to be adjusted for a game that's still a work in progress. Now, I'm not gonna focus too much on those, but there's some things that I will point out. For one, the animations, especially the cutscenes, needs another look and or another pass. I worked as an animation editor before I came to YouTube, and it was part of my job to find these issues. So I do apologize if it sounds nitpicky, but after doing it for a while, I can't help but see them. The sequences are stiff and a bit jarring. The falling of KO right at the start is a prime example of this. It feels like they're going for a Looney Tunes gag, but is missing the mark a bit. It needs to be smoothed out, and of course sped up in certain spots. The facial expressions also need work, especially when they're talking. The eyes and eyebrows make a character a lot more expressive, and when they're stiff, it's really hard to show that emotion. And of course, making sure the lip flap, or as some people call the lip sync, is better matched. Another issue that I had was the punching outside of combat. It feels kinda clunky. When combat begins, it feels fluid and fun, 
but when destroying boxes, it feels a bit too heavy and stiff. Almost like KO needs to stand in place before he can actually punch. It feels like he's losing his momentum. What I think would fix this is adding a small dash to KO as he punches, similar to how Jack punches, but not as much of a slide, but just an increased movement speed. It would give him a sense of momentum as he punches. As I said, in combat, it feels great, but outside of that, it's a bit slow, and I would like to see some of that speed brought outside of combat. Maybe when he does a three hit combo, the first two hits would be small dashes, and the third one would be a slightly larger dash, of course, outside of combat. There are also some potential combos that are being missed, like a rolling Superman punch, or a jump spin ground pound, or an uppercut to knock enemies in the air and adding some aerial punches, or maybe even jumping up in the air and landing an awesome finisher. The combat is already satisfying and already has the building blocks for something amazing, but adding a few extra mastery combos would be super awesome as well. Maybe these will be combos that are unlocked later in the game, but just in case they're not, I'm just putting the idea out there for more combos. There was only one thing that I really, really, really did not like about the demo. That was the boomerang. It just doesn't feel ready yet. The aiming is not great. The animation is stiff. It's glitchy. It's buggy. It just needs a lot of work. There is also some missing audio throughout the game, but I'm sure that will be fixed by the end. Overall, I'm really excited to see more of this game. We know there is power-ups to be unlocked and many new stages, and I'm sure the build that they are currently working with is much more updated than the one that we're working with now. I'm excited to see how this game turns out, so stay tuned for more KO updates.